everyone so today I'm going to show you how to make a throw pillow out of this old sweater that I have definitely not my style anymore but would be really cute if I made it into a throw pillow and you just need a big circle wide as you want your pillow to be I got that basket from my mom's pantry and from there I'm just turning my sweater inside out because I do want to draw the circle on the inside of the sweater where you can't see it rather than the outside where it's nice and pretty don't forget that you want both layers to be nice and straight before you cut out your circle. So from there, I just put back my basket, drew it out, and then I just cut all along the basket, making sure that it is nice and circular. Not quite sure what happened to my clips, but this is what it looks like after I cut it out. Once I was done with that, I just took my hot glue gun and I just glued all along the edges of this pillow, leaving about half an inch seam allowance and also leaving a little gap because you want to make sure that you have a space to turn it inside out and start stuffing the pillow that way. I am so happy that I have to take out my sewing machine for this pillow because the hot glue worked just as great. Now I'm just stretching out the fabric, hoping that it still stays in its circular form before I start stuffing it. Got this polyfill from Michaels and make sure when you do go to Michaels, you'll always grab their coupons online because I only got this for about $3 after discount and everything. All I'm doing now is start stuffing my pillow and it all depends on you how much puffiness you want your pillow to be. It's all up to you. Once I got to my desired size, all I'm going to do is just glue the inside of my pillow and close up my gap and you're pretty much done with the main piece of this pillow. I'm just fluffing up my pillow so the stuffing on the inside is distributed evenly. Okay, now for the fun stuff. So you guys seen me make some pom-poms using my hands before, but I finally got myself this pom-pom maker and I am so excited to use it. It looks really, really cool. There's like four different sizes. I'll leave a link down below for you um, if you guys want to grab one yourself as well. Grab the yarn that you want to make your pom-poms out of and then just start wrapping that around the pink parts. So this is totally preference on how thick you want your pom-poms to be. If you want it super thick and fluffy, then you're going to keep wrapping where it's nice and full. But if you don't, then yeah, don't wrap it as much. Um, also, along these pink bottoms right here, make sure that you don't wrap those areas, okay? Now that you're done with one side, you're going to go ahead and wrap around the other side. Same thickness and fullness as you did on the other one. Okay, now that's done, you're going to fold in both sides and then you're going to snip off the yarn. Then you're going to take your scissor and make sure that it is closed, okay, before you start snipping. You don't want it to fall apart, but you're going to need some sharp scissors for this. I recommend it because I try to use like just regular scissors. It didn't work as well. Um, these are my fabric scissors and they were really sharp and it worked perfectly. So before you go to the next step, I would just go back and check that there's no strings still attached. Grab a piece of yarn and pull that right in the middle of this pom-pom maker. I definitely recommend tying two knots, like double knot it, because you don't want anything to fall apart once you open this up. This was definitely one of my favorite parts because all you're going to do is just pull the handles up and boom, there's one of your sides nice and fluffy and full and then you're going to go on the other side and do the same thing. Once you're done with that, you're going to pull the pieces apart and there's your pom pom. Nice and fluffy, isn't that so cute? 
If there's some pieces that are just sticking out and it's bothering you, just take your scissors and start snipping that off. But pretty much this is super easy to do and I think it's totally worth it if you make a lot of pom-poms. After like an hour or so of making all these pom-poms, I was finally done and I'm using this piercing scoring tool thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. I definitely don't recommend this way though because I didn't have a crochet hook um, to attach these pom-poms onto this pillow, but if you do, I would definitely recommend using that instead because, you know, I was trying different ways to try to attach this and it was like the best way for me to do this. I just tied a knot at one of the ends of the pom-poms and I tried to pierce that through the pillow. Thankfully, my pillow was kind of like a knit. The holes were kind of big and it was easier for me to do it, but definitely don't recommend this way. If you have any suggestions for me on different techniques, let me know. Leave me a comment down below because this technique took me so long to do. But anyways, after I was able to pierce it through, all I did was just triple knot it to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't come off. Now that I attached all my pom-poms to this pillow, all the ones that are just sticking out like the long strands, go ahead and just snip all around and just clean up your pillow. Mm -hmm. 